the online dating Tinder. In Korea, we don't really. So you are still single. Yeah. It's like a test. Do anything with anyone else, but you still can. Opposite sex can be friends. Well, really this compromise we call friends. hunting. Basically, when you're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi guys! Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Alex and Mian. In today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between dating culture in England and Korea, and we'll talk about it. Okay, let's go! The first thing is I want to talk about is where does normally happen? Where do you meet the guys or girls? I think in England, there's so many different places to meet. First place, I think, is the school. Second place, I think, is workplace. The third place, I think, is bars. And the fourth place, I think, maybe would be club. But when I stay in England, what I felt is many people met each other in Tinder. Mm. In Korea, we don't really use Tinder. We feel when you meet through the Tinder, it just feels not so serious kind of relationship. Right. I'm not against the Tinder, but just it was quite different for me. Yeah, I think in England, uh, Tinder took off like in the online dating kind of site. Personally, I never did it. Uh, I know a lot of people who have done it and been successful with it. But it's, Yeah, uh, so many people are successful which is great nowadays. It's For me, it was always a bit scary to to online. I think you, you can be anyone online, so it was a bit scary. I think that, that was the first fear. But I think Tinder did a good job of verifying photos and people. So other people oh, right. were... Is it what it is? Mm. I think so. so. In Korea, I think number one job or school where the people surround you, just you naturally bump into. Second one, I think we call them soge. So you introduce your friend or who you know to one of your friends. Or people. Mm. Yeah, so, I think this is like a uh, big thing in, in England. Uh, in, in England, England as well, like meeting your friends. Yeah, like so your friends would have a friend who maybe they're in a couple, and then your friend, your friend's girlfriend, let's say, has like uh, her best friend who's single, and then my friend would be, and then it would be like, okay, well, why don't you two mm. try it together? And things like that. Yeah, that's what happens in Korea. Third place, possibly club, I think, or Green we call hunting. Like when you go out on the Saturday night or Friday night, you go to these kind of bars and then this bar is particular for this hunting. So you guys come with the girls and then some boys come with the boys and then they just naturally meet and then that goes also to the club. So it's in the night time. So Basically uh, when you're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, three times. So, what do you think? Do you think that opposite sex can be friend or not Where really this come from? This is not anything belongs to... Yeah, it's a good thing because I think a lot of people think that yes, it's a good debate. We could leave it to the comment. What do they think? Yeah. I think it's, it's a very good debate. Like, for example, like, meet the opposite sex and be friendly with them without any other problems. I think it depends what, what relationship what you're you in. have. Of course, I think, like, there's trust with that and things like that. Let's say if we're all very trustworthy and everything's fine, then it shouldn't be a problem. But I see many, 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 many problems. So you don't really believe? No. This is all our personal opinion. Nothing against to someone who has it, but just you don't have. I have friends, but um, I don't know. I can say if that. Yeah, I don't have any. I can say it's a best, best, best friend. I don't have any girlfriend. I have a friend. But... Girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I only have boyfriend. Mm -hmm. so that's me. Oh. So number two. Number two is a uh, kind so of the progression. You progress. found someone, mm. and then we are into the kind of next stage. Mm. But we are not girlfriend, boyfriend, but like kind of. Dating in that stage, what is it in England? So in England, we call it like the seeing moment. What's the seeing moment? It basically means you're not in a relationship, so you are still single, but you are seeing how each other are for a boyfriend and girlfriend. So is it like a so dating? It's, like it's like a test. So technically, you should not do anything with anyone else, but you still can. But it would mean then, okay, this person is really. Bad. Actually, we do have that in Korea. We call <laughs> some. It's like something's there, but something is like fire's going. It, there is something, but it's not like commitment yet. Yeah, no commitment. But uh, can you see many people? Well, you, of course you can. You, so just, you might be a bit weird. <laughs> you're apparently single. Yes, you are single, so you can. But like, uh, you'd just be a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> Ten of people. 
In Korea, I think you can have many songs. You can text with many boys or girls in the same time because you haven't done anything. Well, that's because you're single. Yeah, you're single. You can go out watch movie or you can go out male, but it's dating. Yes, yeah, you can. You can date. So it's kind of like a little commitment, but not commitment. Yeah. So the person next to it, whether guys or a girl, will be confused. Are we? That? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Or are we not? Are we not? Like kind of that. Is like, I never agree with it. I just think he's like, go for what you want. <laughs> that's how I go. So here. that's the next stage. A little bit bored, I think. Okay. <laughs> you ruined it. I don't have the passion anymore. <laughs> you ruined my. Music.